Lance Black posted yesterday on Instagram that he suffered severe head injury in the last month and he had to take the time off from the work. So we will open his Vedic chart and we will try to pinpoint this and other events in his life. So we can say from his body appearance, handsome guy with very symmetric body. And this is when the Varesha is related to benefics. In this case, this is the uh, moon and this is with Jupiter. So we have two benefics. And also the Shastra, the Vedic texts say that if the dual Lagna and dual Lagnesha is there, this is giving the symmetric body. So we have Virgo Lagna, which is dual. And Mercury, the Lord of Lagna, is also in a dual sign, Gemini. We know that he got the Oscars in February 2009 for a screenplay in the movie milk and that was in the Venus Sun Dasha. If we open his Dashamsa chart, chart of the work, Sun is in the Lagna and uh, that is of course the Kshema Vimshotri because he has the moon in the sixth so we are using the Kshema Vimshotri. Sun is in the Lagna which is showing the time of the fame and also if we use the moon Vimshotri which is showing more other people then the it was the Antardasha of Rahu. Rahu is in the seventh house. Seventh house has to do with uh, competing with others. It's like a killing the enemy symbolically because the sixth house is enemy and the seventh is killing the enemy because it's the Maraka house from the sixth house. Then using further the Kshema Vimshotri, we get to know that he is married in a Venus Jupiter. Jupiter will be the seventh lord. Then we get to know in June 2018, he had the child with Tom Deli due to surrogate birth. And in this, it was a Venus Saturn. Saturn is the fifth lord and there is a specific yoga for um, surrogate bird or adopted children this is when saturn or mercury or both are related to the fifth or ninth house for female so in this case we see the perfect yoga fifth lord is saturn with the mercury so this adopted or surrogate bird so this is one lesson you can get from this chart we also learn from his biography that his elder a brother died from cancer and in this case uh, the elder brother is seen by the 11th house and the 11th house is cancer the lord is the moon and moon is in the sixth house of diseases in the saturn sign of aquarius saturn is also related to diseases and it is with jupiter jupiter also is indicating the elder brother if we see his navamsha lagda the moon is in the sixth and the jupiter the karaka is in 12th so also the lord and karaka are badly placed in the navamsha which shows a uh, very unfortunate events related to brother and in this case Case, we know this was a very terrible disease because the dispositor of that moon which shows half of the person would be that Rahu in the Scorpio which is showing the Nietzsche Ayush or this is the position which is very fatal for the health. Now the first house is showing the head and especially we can see the moon position and dispositor of the moon in this case this will be Saturn. Saturn is with Mercury in the 10th house. So prima facie there is no affliction to these planets but we need to take serious look here because Mercury is very easily afflicted and very hard afflicted by fiery grahas because the Prithvi which is the earth which Mercury represents is like burned by fire and we see that in 9th we have Ketu and in the 11th house we have Mars so Mars and Ketu are forming the Yoga Papa Kartari they are like snatching this Mercury in the 10th house. And Mercury is very important for overall health because this is also the Lagna Lord. Now, if we use the normal timing, this would be in the Saturn and the Moon Antardasha. So Saturn, the big period, Antardasha is the sub period. So the head injury happened in that time. And we can see the second and seventh from Aruda Lagna for some health troubles, health challenges. And we will see that Moon is with Jupiter. Jupiter is the seventh lord from Aruda Lagna and the moon is second lord. So this is the Maraka from the Aruda Lagna, which is showing the health concerns for the person. But because moon is in the sixth, Kshema Vimshotri will be more accurate. So this was the Saturn and Mercury. And Mercury is with the dispositor of the moon, which shows the region of the head. And this is the snatched by these two malefics, Ketu and Mars. This is like Pisacha Yoga on the Mercury. And this is very much afflicting uh, the Mercury. And because this is in the 10th house, this is also afflicting the work. So the person has to take time off the work. So we can see how language of astrology is very complex because that same Mercury is giving his this symmetrical body. Mercury is in the Badra Yoga, which is giving also him the acting skills because this is with the Aruda Lagna. Then we also have this adopted children because the fifth Lord is Saturn with the Mercury. And then on top of that, we have this dispositor of the moon, which is showing the head is that Saturn with the Mercury. By the way, the Narayana Dasha is also related to that Saturn and Mercury Yoga. And the 
Shema will show you was Venus Mercury exactly pointing at that Mercury with the Saturn in the 10th house. By the way, one more interesting thing, we see how he get married in Venus Jupiter. So Venus in 8 is not conductive to marriage because it's in the 8th house. The Venus in 8 normally produces not very um, synchronized attitude or preferences uh, for relationship. It's more uh, pushing one towards spirituality. But we see that the Jupiter is in 6. So Jupiter is like voting against the Venus, right? Because he has something which is called this Viroda Argala. So Venus is in 8 and 6th is uh, on the other side of that 1 7th axis. So he is like counter arguing. He is saying no to that Venus and therefore he married in Venus and Jupiter Dasha. Okay, so that's about it. I hope we learned something. We have seen how to see adopted children. We have seen the region of head. Vimshotri Dasha from Aruda Lagna for timing of the health. But the most important, which I want to show you, is the, how the Papa Carteri or the position of the planet between two malefics and here, especially the relationship between Mercury and the fiery Graha, Mars and Ketu was producing the serious affliction. And in this matter, because connected to the health points, uh, it was the health concern. So that's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching till the end. If you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe with the bell notification on and see you in the next one.